Welcome to another Drupal 8 video. Today we're going to put a Twitter button in a custom block right here under the tools. So let's get started. First we go to structure and this takes a while because I'm on a virtual machine. Block layout and we go to custom block library. Here we add a custom block and we give it a name. I call it Twitter follow. And now we need the code. We need full HTML. So let's get the Twitter code for the button. You have to be logged into your Twitter account and go to the http publish.twitter.com page page looks like this scroll down and you have on the right side twitter buttons we don't want any of these we just want the follow you put in your your twitter id uh, for me that is the Roma Dev Studio. Click preview. And here we have the button. I <coughs> can set some custom settings. Just use the customization link. The username can be hidden. I don't want that. And you can put a large button. I want a large button. And the rest uh, I let uh, be. Updates. Here we have the code we need. So we copy the code. Now it is copied. Go back to a custom block. This is very important. We need to use the source input because we are not pasting text, but we're pasting code. We're pasting a script. We save the block. Yes, here it is. Twitter follow. Go back to block layout. And I want it in the first sidebar. No, no, place the block. And here it is. Twitter follow, the custom block we just created. Place block. I don't want a title. But you can leave it on if you want. Save block. And there it is, underneath the tools section. We're going to save the blocks. A lot of saving. And now when we go back to the site, the Twitter block, the, sorry, the Twitter follow button is appearing. Well, that's it for today. If you like these kinds of short videos, please subscribe to our channel.